<gasps> Yay! Happy this is shoes! Yes! Happy shoes! Happy oh my gosh! Oh my God. <laughs> I remember this. This Happy is a classic. Birthday. Happy birthday, twins. A computer! And a car! Liam Kyle Sullivan, one of the original YouTube heroes. What is Liam doing these days? Go ahead and open your present. <laughs> Go ahead and open your present. It's a big dinosaur! I knew that! What the hell? I feel like I'm supposed to know who this is. What'd you expect? Condams? <laughs> What'd you expect? Condams? Here's Kelly. I'm gonna oh, yeah. bitch you shit back. <laughs> Stop fighting. Me too. This tails. is my comedy inspiration. Kelly, where are you going? Oh, Kelly. Out. Whore. Kelly, what are you gonna do with, with your, your life? life? I'm gonna get what I want. Get it, girl. Here it comes. Oh! Cheers. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. Cheers. Let's get some shit. Oh my god, this is the, this is YouTube. This video was like my anthem for all of like 2007. This is straight up OG. You know, like OG YouTuber. Let's get some shit. Shit. <laughs> That's from Simply Irresistible. Oh my god. Palmer. These shoes rule. These, These shoes suck. suck. These shoes rule. My favorite part. These shoes suck. These shoes rule. Oh my god. I don't think I have seen Liam since we, we did a Weezer video together in 2008. Tell us about the next shoes. These shoes suck. These shoes suck. <laughs> These shoes are $300. These shoes are $300. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and that robot costume belong to Margaret small. Cho's husband. Uh, this style runs small. I don't think you're gonna fat. I Ooh. mean, <laughs> fade are kinda bad. Rachel nailed that. Oh. And oh. here's where she loses it. Oh. Oh, by the way, bitch. <laughs> you! <laughs> you! <laughs> so <laughs> random. <laughs> you! I don't remember this part. <laughs> Why are there marshmallows on Hulu? <laughs> That scene was, it was so fun to shoot. I love the flame, but like nothing is connected in this video. I feel so happy. <laughs> what y'all know about that? Y'all don't know nothing about some shoes. What happened to that guy? I don't even know. This was like one of the very first videos I ever watched and it changed me as a person. That's classic YouTube right there. That, that is what built this platform. When was the last time you watched that all the way through? All the way through, years. It's been years. <laughs>Okay, so have you ever seen this video before? Oh, have I? Oh yeah, YouTube classic. Probably one of the first people to have like a really big viral video that had everybody quoting it all the time. Liam Kyle Sullivan, he was a huge inspiration to me and still is to this day. I mean, he was one of the first, he was one of the first comedians to use YouTube as the platform in which to build an audience off of. That is the first video on YouTube I think I ever watched. It was exactly what I wanted to do. When I was in high school, I'd put on dresses and wigs and play characters and I thought it was so weird and nobody would like it. And then I saw that and it went viral and he was my hero. Can you share with us the story of how you came up with Kelly? Well, Kelly, uh, it, back in the, in the day, as they say, I was doing sketch comedy and then so I had a bunch of characters. Kelly was, she just came out of me kind of, um, talking to myself. I imagined having braces and what it would be like to talk with braces on. And I just was pulling my face back like that. And that's how the voice shot up, like just came from that. So this was made by a YouTuber named Liam Kyle Sullivan. Liam, where are you, Liam? Since its release over 10 years ago. Oh, Shoes is almost a preteen. It has over 58 million views. Oh my God. <laughs> Why do you think this was so popular back 10 years ago? It's just super random. It's stupid and expressive all at the same time. There wasn't really stuff like it, I yeah. feel, back then. It's just very internet before internet realized 
fucked what that meant. The early days of YouTube was when that sort of absurd, disconnected, random kind of humor was coming out, and shoes was just the, the nucleus of that. So what was it like when this video became one of the biggest things on the internet at the time? It was bizarre. It was, it was, it freaked me out because I didn't know what YouTube was. I really, I had no clue. Shoes was all over, muffins was all over too, and it was like, oh, okay. There it all is. Like, it, it was a different, totally, it was, it was different. This video was named one of the best videos of all time by Time Magazine. It was? When? It was part of their top 50 in 2010. <laughs> Liam won a People's Choice Award even way back then for the best web video of the year. I know because I was nominated for that People's Choice Award and <laughs> that's why I'm still just a nominee. How big of a deal is it that someone crossed over a little bit that many years ago? That's a huge oh, deal. Yeah, that's he was big. probably one of the first to do that. And people are still trying to do that today. He really pioneered the whole concept of becoming a viral star in a way. To see somebody do something online and then be on TV, that was like the dream. He was one of the first people to kind of show that it was possible, that someone could create something online and still have the potential to create some dope shit um, off of YouTube too. I feel like our space has done like, has had these waves of like, of traditional being like, kind of intrigued them, but like, nah, nah, nah. They've transitioned in, I think, the right way of supporting the actual creator a little bit more in ways. And then, uh, and, and now I think it's a little more undeniable. In today's world, it's not as uncommon for online crossovers to happen, but how do you think people viewed internet stars in 2007 when they still sometimes don't view them perfectly now? I almost feel like they were viewed a little bit better. They were like, oh, YouTube, that, that site where you watch people be funny and make a little skit. I feel like back then, if you were popular on the internet, you were just popular on the internet. Now, if you're a YouTuber and you go into a mall, it's kind of like, wait, you did that weird video. Traditional media is still trying to treat online stars as like, oh, well, you're welcome that we put you in our feature. There's real, actual comedy that exists on YouTube, and people like Liam at the time, I think, were challenging traditional comedians. In 2007, the internet still got no respect. I could go to a major agency in LA in 2007 and say, hey, look, I have big numbers on the internet, and they'd go, well, where are your TV credits? I think then, it was like, what is it? But now people are like, oh no, here, here's a pile of cash. <laughs> Please, <laughs> make stuff for us. So despite the success of Shoes, a few years ago, Liam stopped posting content to YouTube. What do you think about that? No, he can do what he wants. If it doesn't bring him joy anymore, why do it? Maybe it's like a Harper Lee thing. You know what it I mean? You're be. so popular and then you don't want to like fail, so you just stop. I think he probably wanted to keep making that kind of stuff and YouTube wasn't taking that kind of stuff anymore. Maybe the success that we see wasn't actually bringing in enough for him to be sustainable. Uh, who, who knows? Or maybe he just lost passion. It's just changed so much. It lost his excitement of like new and fresh and contributing something that hadn't been done. It was wrong for him to stop because I think he is so talented he could have just evolved it into something else. Kelly could come back and be a Miranda Sings and everybody would collab with Kelly because we all love Kelly. Kelly, come back! I almost feel like uh, interviewing him or just talking. <laughs> uh, uh, hopefully you have him reacting to this. When I was looking at all the stuff that YouTube provides, like you can look at who's watching and when they stop watching. And with that in my head, I became like, um, like an executive, thinking business rather than creative. I could never really get back to that kind of like, all right guys, we're gonna make a video, isn't this cool? It was all, it, it became much more of a business. With some people, there's like a mystique around what you've been doing since you stopped posting. Oh, really? Well, I have a family. I have a daughter, she's three, she just turned three. I worked on my music. Uh, I worked for Defy Media. I'm doing some acting, um, I'm doing some stand-up, just to keep something going creative in myself. So do you think that Liam should come back to YouTube? Everybody should come back to YouTube. I know a lot of people miss him, and I know that the internet is waiting with open arms for his return. Yes, can we start a petition? Liam, come back to YouTube. Why not come back to, to where you came from, bro, and help us create more good content? This is my official plea to you. Please come back to YouTube, play with characters, inspire me. Liam, if you're watching this, please come back. Oh my God, have, oh my God, me and Kelly, and we. Could could, like do some kind of video together and then oh my god me and Kelly could make out and then oh my god me and Kelly could make sweet love. So last question about shoes in terms of the history of web video what do you think the legacy of shoes is? I mean it's one of the biggest YouTube videos I could remember from that time. If I go up to anyone around my age and go shoes they'll go yeah. I think of Liam and that video as um, as an era. 
as a good representative of that era. I think shoes is gonna be forever in the time capsule of YouTube. He was doing highbrow stupidity. And now people eat baby food out of diapers. Liam, the internet needs you. I don't think he is capable of being aware of how much of an impact he has made because that video has inspired me, my friends. I know it's inspired a lot of other YouTubers. So the YouTubers in this episode talked about this video as being one of the most important in YouTube history and some specifically even mentioned how you inspired them to do what they do on YouTube. I mean, that's incredible. Ah, uh, wow. <laughs> that's amazing. That's... That's incredible. I remember meeting Bruce McCullough from Kids in the Hall. It was, it was guys like that that inspired me. But to think that, I don't know, people might think that about me is very, um, it's, it's nice, it's really nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of YouTubers React Batch. Let us know in the comments below what other YouTube viral video we should react to next. Subscribe to this batch and this batch, this batch over here. Goodbye. <laughs>